Okay, so now we've got the uh, fuel rails cinched down. They're set to 20 foot pounds. Um, the fuel injector is obviously installed. Everything's electrically reconnected. Um, so we're ready to go ahead and set the uh, upper manifold back on the top of the intake manifold, the lower manifold. Uh, before we did that, uh, I went through and made sure that the surfaces of both were clean and free of the old gasket. Um, the gasket basically looks like this guy right here. You can purchase that as part of a uh, upper manifold gasket set. I think it's about maybe uh, 10 or 15 dollars. Uh, comes with the intake manifold gaskets and uh, the uh, idle air control valve gasket and of course the upper intake manifold gasket. Now on these old cars, while you've got this whole thing apart, now's a good time to go ahead and replace some of these other hoses on here uh, for your PCV valve and crankcase ventilation. Those things are going to crack over time and uh, as you can see just by looking at it, it's probably not an easy thing to get to when it's on the engine. So while you've got it off the engine, just go ahead and get her done. Um, so basically I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all those little paper towels that I've stuffed in the intake manifold out uh, and then I'll go ahead and put the gasket underneath there in between the two drop the bolts through. Uh, I'll snug them up by hand using a, a socket on the extension best I can and then I will go check on the uh, torque specs for those and the tightening order and uh, we'll uh, get that part finished up.